take a look at this. Please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and share this video to all of your friends. Now, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so welcome to this mini tutorial, and this is going to be um, an additional part to our, yeah, to our, to our topic with um, the camera, of course. And so I want, I want to put, I want to put the focus on camera movement. So like having a camera which can move from one spot to the other spot very smoothly. So you can actually create some scenes with it or whatsoever. I have featured this method in my new Pirates Voyage version. So if you're interested in yeah, um, a new One Piece game, then I can recommend you to check out the description for my Pirates Voyage games Discord. And as I've just said, the character editor and many other things feature this method, okay? So let me just get started with it. <clears throat> let me first of all create some kind of scene, okay? So let's just place this dummy right here. And let's put this block. So this block is going to be our camera subject, as you hopefully know from the, from the previous camera manipulation mini tutorial video. So if you have not watched it, then I recommend you to check it out. So we want to disable the collision and make it anchored and also make it transparent. Now let's call this thing cam subject. And now the next thing we want to do is let's duplicate it and let's name this thing cam C frame, okay? And we want the base, the base, yeah, camera look, the base camera view to be like this. So it only should, uh, it only should observe the dummy like this, okay? And then after a certain amount of seconds, we want this whole thing to, yeah move to the side of the dummy very smoothly so not chopped you know so some of the games out there they have something like this so the camera is focused on something and then right away the camera is at this spot okay but we do not want to do that we want to make things smoothly so smoothly goes to this point right here i hope that you understand what i'm trying to say but yeah, so to do that, we need the space camera view, first of all. So let's just script that. Let's call this thing camera. And yeah, let's first of all define a variable which refers to our camera right here. So cam workspace camera. Camera, there we go. Now the next variable we want to create is for our camera subject, so let's call this thing camera subject. And of course, we have to refer to it once again. So workspace and camera subject. Workspace, camera subject. So let me let me zoom in a little because many of you have been complaining on yeah this issue that I'm not zooming into my scripts. Now let's define one more thing called camera C frame. Which is obviously gonna refer to this part right here. And C frame. Alright, now we first of all want to turn this thing, turn this camera type to scriptable. So this is just me repeating the things from my last video, which was about this camera thing. So I do not want to go into any further explanation of this. So scriptable. If you have no clue of what, why I'm doing this or what I'm doing right here, then I recommend you to check out that video as I've just already said. So, scriptable, and the subject, so camera subject, and the C frame is cam C frames C frame. So, this thing hopefully works now. Okay, so this is the wrong way. Now, if you encounter this issue, then just rotate this whole thing. 
and now it should work fine there we go okay so there is me in the background <laughs> Okay, now we want this whole thing, this whole scene to move to the right side, for example. So how would you do that? Okay, so if you want to do that, then copy this or duplicate this KMC frame thing and call it KMC frame 2 or something else. So it should have a name which you can remember. Alright, I've just gotten another idea, another more better idea. So how about instead of moving this thing to the right side, how about we just extremely, yeah, so we just zoom into the face extremely. I think that this would be a better example of showing you, demonstrating you guys what kind of purpose this thing has. So, as I just said, duplicate it, call it Cam C Frame 2. And then move it to the spot to which you want your camera to yeah move to okay so as you remember this is the default camera viewpoint and now if you want to make this whole camera move it would move this way to this part right here all right so if you have set up the second part then let's define it right here kmc frame 2 then you can just copy this thing and just add a 2 to it because those two parts are almost the same by the name just with the slight difference that this thing has a 2 and now if we want to create some kind of movement between those cameras all we have to do is we need to create a tween just to make things look more smooth by yeah First of all, referring to the tween service, so tween service, and then using the create function of the tween service. And now there are three arguments. So the first argument is the yeah the instance we are trying to manipulate. In this case, the camera, of course. The second argument is the information we are passing. So the information on how our tween should yeah sh should should be like so tween info dot new and then those two brackets and the first argument is the time so the amount of time uh which is needed to yeah move from one state to the other state so let's say that this this highlighted thing right here is state one and this high the second highlighted thing is the second state and now the wait time determines how much time is needed to move from this state to this state, okay? In our case, yeah, let's say one second. Now the second argument, as you can see right here, is the easing style. So, in them, easing style. And there are several easing styles, as you can see right here. I'm just going to use this one. The third argument is the easing direction. I'm going to be using out. And then the repeat count should be zero. The reverse should be at false because we do not want to repeat it or reverse it. And we also do not want it to be delayed. Therefore, the next argument has to be zero as well. That's the third argument. So create those curly brackets, I guess. And then you will enter C frame. Okay, so the third argument holds the information of those properties you want to tween in our case the c frame of the camera so therefore c frame so c frame equals cam part no cam c frame 2 c frame and this is it i think that this should work now so we just need to make this tween play by writing this so tween play and let's see if this thing works. Oh, okay, wait, there's still something I would like to change. But it seems to work, as you can see. Let me just add a wait in between those things, because otherwise it would directly zoom in without any, yeah, any, any time to wait. So 
that was the example for zooming into a face. Now I could move this thing to the right side of the dummy, which was my previous intention. And then show you guys how it will look now. Let's take a look at that. And as you can see, it would look like this. And this is it. So this is on how you make your camera view move smoothly around. You can also duplicate this thing once again and make a third part. So cam C frame 3. Now rotate this again. Let's say we want to face the back of our dummy right here. And now go back to our script. Then we have to, of course, define a variable which represents our third part. So we can just copy this and just edit it a little. So just change up, change the numbers. And then you can just copy the screen right here. Maybe add another weight if you want to. And now, instead of cam2, you can say cam3. And then our camera will move three times now, as you can see. All right, so this is it with the video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, then please leave a like, subscribe, and if you subscribe, don't, do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Also, share this video to all of your friends, and give me feedback in the comment section, guys, on whether this was quite helpful or, yeah, just other mini tutorial ideas, guys. Alright, take care and see you in the next video.